was a talented Michael Jackson impersonator performing on the New York subway and in Times Square. Everybody, clap, clap, everybody. Now Jordan Neely's tragic death in a chokehold on the same subway where he once entertained passengers is causing an uproar. Justice for Jordan Neely! Justice for Jordan Neely! 30-year-old Jordan Neely was not impersonating Michael Jackson when he boarded a subway train in Lower Manhattan. His life had apparently fallen apart. Witnesses say he was hostile and threw garbage at them. He reportedly screamed, I don't have food, I don't have drink, I don't mind going to jail and getting life in prison, I'm ready to die. Out of the clubs. A passenger shot this cell phone video as a 24-year-old former U.S. Marine puts Neely in a chokehold and keeps him there. Two other passengers try to restrain Neely's arms. One witness shouts a dire warning. The chokehold reportedly went on for 15 minutes. Around 20 seconds you lose consciousness, but then once you don't have prolonged oxygen supply to the brain, it's irreversibly damaged, and that's around two to three minutes. The unidentified former U.S. Marine from Long Island was questioned by police but released. Now there are calls for him to be charged in Neely's death and angry protests. Firebrand New York Congresswoman AOC posted, Jordan Neely was murdered, but because Jordan was houseless, the murderer gets protected. Mayor Eric Adams is calling her post irresponsible. Let the investigation take its course. John Miller, CNN's chief law enforcement analyst, says the chokehold banned by many police departments is used by the Marines. The blood flow is restricted to the brain, causing the enemy to pass out. This is something they're supposed to use on the battlefield, um, and they're trained in that. It's not supposed to kill somebody. Neely had a record of 42 arrests, including three for assaulting women. He reportedly suffered from schizophrenia. His death is raising echoes of the murder of George Floyd in 2020 and the chokehold death of Eric Garner at the hands of New York City police in 2014. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is investigating, calling Neely's death a solemn and serious matter. It